This tutorial video will demonstrate how to properly perform an inventory count by using the count inventory function in the MDScript software. To start, go over to the sidebar where your menu options are located, click on Inventory, and select Count Inventory. As you dispense void transactions, medications expire, and shipments are accepted, from time to time your inventory may need to be adjusted to correct discrepancies. It is recommended that you perform a physical inventory count before any adjustment is made to ensure that you aren't missing any additional changes that may be required and whether or not the change is necessary in the first place. Sometimes, if the on-hand quantity of a medication is off, it may be because a dispensing transaction needs to be voided and the medication recorded as returned to inventory. This eliminates the need to manually adjust the inventory and ensures your dispensing records are also accurate. For details on voiding a dispensing transaction, check out our Dispensing History tutorial video. You can log the total number of bottles that you count for each specific lot number you have on hand in the Containers column. Submitting the results will create a record of the account. Your homepage dashboard will also display the last date an inventory count was performed, so you can quickly determine whether a more recent count needs to be done. It is generally recommended that you perform a physical inventory at least once a month. If you dispense controlled medications, the recommendation can either be daily or weekly depending on your practice. If the dispensing computer isn't immediately near the medication cabinet, this online worksheet can be printed by clicking Print Worksheet. You can then write in your results and later enter them here electronically. When you have completed your count and submit the results, a report will be generated that will show any count discrepancies. If any exist, it is recommended that you count the affected medications again to be sure it wasn't a miscount or confusion with two different lot numbers. If the second count determines that an adjustment needs to be made, you can adjust your on-hand inventory quantities by going to your Medications under the Inventory menu and clicking Edit next to the affected medication. In the Containers field, enter the total number of bottles you actually have on hand versus what software thinks you have on hand and provide a reason for the change. You can use the pre-populated menu options, or if you choose other, you can enter your own custom response. Clicking Submit will save the adjustment, and your total on-hand inventory will reflect the change. If you have multiple adjustments to be made that all have the same reason for being adjusted, for example, medications that have expired, you can use the Adjust Levels option to adjust multiple medications at the same time. Before clicking Submit, be sure to add the reason for adjustment so it is recorded properly. If you have any questions or need assistance with the Count Inventory function, you can contact the support team at First Coast Health Solutions and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Additional support videos are also available on our YouTube channel.